Hello students, friends, and non-students. Welcome back to video number two in our Taking It to the Golf Course series. One of the things that I would like to portray to everyone out there is that when they hear the word routine, when they're watching golf, it's not really a routine. And I'm gonna explain why and why it's so important to think of it as a ritual. This is going to help you take your swing, your good swing on the practice range, and take it to the golf course. So what I like to say is that the pre-shot ritual is the bridge between practice and playing at your best, at your highest level. So what is the difference? I'm not trying to be semantics here. The difference in a routine is a routine is sequences to act, to obtain a result. And I'll give you an example of that. Let's say uh, in the morning there's five things, you know, I brush my teeth, I'll gargle, I'll wash my face, I grab a cup of coffee and I drink it. Well, all of a sudden I've done two of those and I get the phone rings. So what do I do? Well, I stop, put, take the call. It's a student who says, hey, I can meet you earlier. Great, meet you at the club. And I hang up, do I go back and do the other two again. No, I don't. My routine says I have three more things to get done, and what do I do? I start where I left off. That is a routine. Now, what makes that different from a ritual? Well, a ritual is a sequence to act in a set manner performed to obtain results. Big difference. And you're gonna say, okay, I'm not exactly sure because most people try to grasp that, and I'll give you an idea here. I don't know how many of you are familiar with the Tiger Woods stop action swing. Years ago, Tiger Woods stopped his golf swing right here when a lady was taking pictures of him. I think it was his mom, by the way, took a snapshot. And all of a sudden, he stops here. So what did Tiger Woods do? Did he walk away from the ball and start right here? Of course he did. He went back took his glove off, stood out there, put his glove back on, walked up to the ball, went through his ritual, started from scratch, and did it again. See, there's a significant difference between a ritual and a routine. That is what happens with most people when they're playing their golf game at not a very, at the highest level they can, because they're just going through a, rich, a, a, a routine that they think is a ritual. Because I know people that get up over the ball and a ball comes rolling here and they're completely stopped from what they're doing and they say, oh well, I'm just gonna hit it now and it's usually not a good result. Now I'm not saying to slow the game down, but I'm saying there's guys like, I'll give you an example. Anybody remember this guy? Arnold Palmer. How about this guy? Freddie Cummings. I can go on and on with all these little innuendos these guys do before they start. I have one, we all do. <laughs> so, these people on the tour have their set ritual. And I, I do get frustrated when I hear them talk about routine on the tour because they're not talking a reality here. So the routine versus the ritual is very, very simple. If I do something over and over and over again, and let's say I get up and I go through this ritual and I hit a very, very good golf shot. My brain is going to remember that. My brain's going to remember, oh, if I go through those things and I hit a good shot, if I do it again, the chance I hit a good shot are good. Now, this is not superstition where I put my socks on backwards and I put my shoes on backwards or whatever because I want a golf tournament. This is because my brain needs to be engaged to disengage. Now it's oxymoronic, but I'm engaging my brain to be disengaged. And I'm gonna leave you with this. It's only three seconds that we need to hit the golf ball. Three seconds. Very hard for us. TV switches, I think every 1.2 seconds, they switch, or even less. So now what we're going to do in this next video coming up is explain this symbol and why it's going to help your golf game develop into a better ritualistic repetition to play your best.